Very serendipitous. We just gotten engaged in Italy, and we wa were walking around. We were sitting outside. It wasn't. We were sitting the, at the tomb of the unknown soldier, weren't we? No, it was some we? fountain, and it wasn't. I, I don't even know I the name. We were sitting by the steps there on the way to the tomb of the unknown soldier. Anyway, we're, we're sitting down, and the and these young guys were kind of next to us, and then they revealed that they were actually priests. They weren't dressed up in um, the collar or anything. Maybe they're lying to us, but um, I thought they, one of them did have his collar on underneath. Maybe. Uh -huh. Anyway, they were they were young priests visiting Italy, Italy mm, as well. That's right. And we started saying, you know, we talked about we just got engaged, and said, well, there's this really great little gesture that you can do daily, weekly, monthly basis. Write the acronym for "Do you know how much I love you" on uh, a little piece of paper. And just every once in a while, slip that like under someone's pillow or in their coat pocket, and or in their would, luggage. Yeah, you said it's a really profound something. little thing that will remind your your partner that you're thinking of them when they might not think that you are. It's something we've really taken. Yeah. Like there's one thing that we've taken, and it's been consistent in our marriage is trying to do that little thing. It always gets dark before the dawn. You say you forgive me. But what I think is neat is like, that's great, but getting coaching sort of brings you into sort of a, like a, a more permanent state of that in a way, if you will, via how I can say, do you know how much I love you within communications that are challenging or communications that are fast or communications that are rare, you know, because that's what happens in marriage. You might barely see each other in a week and the one time you talked to me, it didn't feel great. That's real life. So how can do you know how much I love you become, become sort of uh, nuanced into our day-to-day -day language?